Welcome back guys. This is your layered coatings and sealants longevity test, this being the four month update. And as was the case with last month's update, we've had another intense month of heat and it looks like it's been taking a toll on a few of these. There haven't been any failures up until now, but Griots and Sonax were getting weak, likely from the record breaking heat that we've had here being 109 degrees Fahrenheit, 43 degrees Celsius, with surface temperatures exceeding 180 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 82 or 83 degrees Celsius. As usual, we will foam everything down using Chemical Guy's Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse it, foam it again, wash it, and then of course rinse everything to inspect the hydrophobic properties before drying everything off. So without further ado, let's do further and see how things are holding up. As always, the last 30 days weather as well as the lifetime weather is on your screen and ways to support the channel as well. No surprises, griots, one, two, three layers. One is definitely failed, two, three, and five. We can call that weak, but it looks like the heat has definitely taken a toll. Nanobond still looks like it's hanging in there. I don't see any difference between the layers. Maybe the one layer, if you look real close. Meguiar's hybrid paint coating, looking very strong, but again, one layer, not quite as strong. And Avalon King, maybe a little bit with one layer. Looks like they definitely benefit with two layers. And there's Sonax. Man, it is not looking great. Not, not crazy hydrophobic like the others. It does still release the surface tension, so I'm not going to call it failed. But yeah, that is, uh, that's definitely disappointing to see that. Because in the other tests that have started earlier, it has performed or it has lasted a little bit longer. And there is, of course, new finished graphene. Still looking good. And Fuso... Soft 99 Fuso, the PTFE, the Teflon version, the older version, which is no longer available, or if it is available, it's harder to find. So Sonax, weak across the board. Griots, I'm going to call the one layer failed. The others, two layers is right behind it. If, if we don't call it failed now, it's definitely going to be called failed next month, but one layer for sure. Two, you see, just barely. So we'll leave two, three, and five alone for now, but it's it's really close. So it looks like it's gonna probably make it to about the five month mark for some of those. Nano Bond, McGuire's Hybrid Paint Coating, Avalon King, New Finish, and Fuso all doing strong. So let me let me hear your thoughts in the comments, guys. I'm curious to see what you think, why you think that failed. I think it's the heat, because there's there's really no other variables. The when I've tested them in the past. It's started at a different time of the year. So of course the cool temperatures we have in the winter, our winters are relatively mild, probably not as hard on them. However, they don't seem to be as affected by rain, but Sonax and Griots definitely are affected by the extreme heat. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.